Hey guys, Lover Freeman here again. Today we're continuing our campaign here is Egypt. Uh, so that last episode, uh, you know, we had a, we took out the Dominion of India. We lost our veteran tank unit, got encircled, and I, I didn't last stand when I should have probably. Uh, so that sucked, but you know we're making lots of tanks now anyway, so we're uh, we're kind of you know we're kind of uh, you know it's kind of okay. Uh, we took a lot. Of, uh, we're occupying most of India. We're getting their factories, so that's nice. We're still at war with the Entente. Uh, France decided to commit suicide against the right pa the Reich's Pact, uh, which crushed the commune of France. And now the Entente is uh, kind of been thrown out of Europe. Uh, we are still at war with them, however, and they do have a little bit of Africa over here. So like, I'm hoping there's like a white piece we can like finish that up and like end the campaign. Uh, otherwise, like. The Entente has America and Mexico in this game, so uh, they're going to be pretty hard to dislodge, like especially as Egypt. Maybe the Germans can do it. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Otherwise, uh, I don't think we'll be able to beat like America at sea, really. Uh, the Kaiserliche Marine might be able to do it. I don't think you know the Egyptian Navy is not going to be doing it. Not going to be doing that like anytime soon. Uh, we might be able to get something in like Mexico or I don't know. It's gonna be that'd be pretty tough, pretty tough fight. As far as the war is going, we're doing pretty good though. We've lost 215,000 guys, killed half a million Indians, and uh, I think we did a number on some of these Frenchies here too. Yeah, we killed a million French. Uh, so that's nice. Unfortunately, it looks like these guys are able to pierce us now. One of the uh, problems with going medium tanks is that that's going to happen eventually. Like the mech units tend to uh, tend to be the problem ones for you. Yeah, we're just getting. And a little bit wrecked there. You tank three. Uh, we don't even really have enough for like a max armor variant. What well, is the piercing of that unit actually? That's a piercing on these guys here. Eighty seven, our armor is fifty five. Piercing eighty seven. It says our armor should be sixty one. Well, I guess we're getting a strength penalty. Start on that modern tank, then I guess. I actually want to get ourselves a. Uh, probably gonna have to start grabbing ourselves some mechanized equipment. Uh, to help us get extra armor, so like we're not pierced. Um Kalthum receives the Nishan Al Kamal. Sultan Farouk has presented the paint singer Um Kathum the Nishan Al Kamal, Order of the Virtues. The sword of merit is only granted to women and in particular for nobility both of the royal family and other royal families. This has only made Kalthum more popular throughout Egypt. They deserve this honor, I guess.
Gotta be careful here. Oh, we get cut off. That wouldn't be enough. This is going to be a problem. How's our resistance going? I don't think it's going down. Target's 33%. We need a target to be a bit lower than that, but uh, best we can do at the moment, I suppose. Looks like there's uh, not a lot of actual forces around here anymore. Look, all the Reichspack guys are up there. In the Mali. I should have read that. Not Pierce there. Hey, we don't have enough. We don't have enough guys to actually take that, though. I don't think it's kind of a pointless attack. That seems pretty risky. Let's uh, get our tanks back to like, I don't know. Pull back to Sudan. Can uh, switch over to some mech too. That will uh, that will help us there. We have mech research. Should 
get mech to you after like one of these researches is done. That's annoying. They've got a lot of units over here. We're getting a bit supply blocked over there as well. We have green navy in the map. I mean, guess that's not surprising. The Entente's like only back over there. Brazil is joined the Reich's pack. That's about. Well, we'll see how that goes. You know what? Let's uh. They would have to have. Let's get our navy over here, actually. Alright, so we got like the one upgraded ship. And the other ones will be done by the end of the year. That'll help. Let's get mech to. Uh, I guess we can do some more of, uh, Farouk's reforms. Get excavation. Bureaucracy reforms, I guess. So it still wouldn't be enough to not be pure, so. Armor You have to like pull out the anti-air maybe. Pull out the anti-air, that gets this armor 68.4. I mean that didn't actually help all that much. Uh, medium SP anti-air should impact your armor. Like I'm not I'm not sure why that's not the case. Weird. Yeah, SP anti-air has armor 58, and the tanks should have much more armor than that. Armor 90. And how much mech do we need for uh, for these units? I, I think it's like 300. Yeah, 300 for units. So we need like a thousand units mechanized. Probably also been smart to run a compliance op on the Indians. As part of the reforms that Farouk is bringing about to Egypt, the nature of the bureaucracy has been brought up. Liberals are pushing for modern civil service that is done on a meritocratic basis, while the conservatives believe that civil servants should be appointed in heavily, favor, heavily in favor of the nobility. Can't read today. Alright, civil service it is. Parliamentarian reforms. Reforms for everyone.
Portugal capitulates, okay. have 340 hmm it's like other people have more than us so let's well have these guys train let's get up to uh Get the extra attack bonus, right? <laughs> uh, we're making lots of self propelled anti air. Nag Hamadi Library Discovery. An upper Egypt not far from Luxar Farmer from the town of Nag Hamadi discovered a collection of early Christian agnostic texts. Given over to a local Coptic priest, the texts have attracted quite a number of attention for the literary interest as well as religious interest. A great find. Like, look at all this political power. Jeez. Royal Dietary and Reform. Part of the reforms that Frug is bringing about to Egypt is the topic of the Royal Dietary and Reform has been brought up. Liberals believe that royal diet should be should, should be strengthened at the cost of the power of the monarchy, while the conservatives believe that the current status quo works fine as a balance between absolutism and liberalism. Finally, a third option is to strengthen the monarchy while weakening the power of the royal diet. Uh, we'll, we'll strengthen the royal diet, I guess. I don't know. We're uh, very, very market liberal. Our markets are very free, and so are our people. Well, let's get you out of there. If you're getting attrition, no point. A logistics company sure would be nice too. So I think we'll get the uh, the improved depth charge mortar, and then we'll start like maybe uh, refitting our existing destroyers and uh, using some new ones. And these guys are almost done. I think we're just waiting for those uh, those two guys there. We can to kill Columbia. It's interesting. Get the uh, the gun there. Part of the reforms that Frug is bringing about to Egypt, the question of the judiciary has come up. 
Liberals believe that the judicial branch should be independent of their order to make sure that laws are always properly enforced. However, the conservatives argue that the government should have oversight over the, judici over the judiciary. Give them independence. Not that that won't be uh, circumvented by corrupt officials anyways, but... It's fun to LARP that democracy works, right? You know, you can always uh, you can always call up your, your judiciary and tell them that they need to make this certain case go away because it would be bad for the economy if it uh, if it was tried, right? And people still think you're a cool guy if you do that. I'll give you another term. They have a lot of guys cramped in here. Uh, 34 days for that. I don't know. We'll just build convoys for now. That means our other revived armored crew should almost be done refitting as well, too. What is the armor on these uh, these units? Like uh, on like 66.7, which is like better than what it said on the uh, on the tag in the in the division designer. It's like I don't know, maybe it's a bit bugged. If we swap these guys over, do we have enough for like the mech tanks now? Sixty-eight point four. No, so that does match. That does match what the division designer said. So that's unfortunate. We're not gonna be able to uh, avoid being pierced at our current tech level. As part of the reforms that Farouk is bringing about to Egypt, the nature of the legal system has been brought up. The current legal system is an absolute mess with overlapping, conflicting areas of British, Ottoman, French, and Egyptian law all mixed together. Such a thing is not suitable for the new modern Egypt. To that end, the laws must be reformed. However, one should look within the current laws for the main basis of big question. The liberals believe that the British law within our legal system might be the best way to adopt. Conservatives believe French law is better. Finally, some believe looking at the ideas of Muhammad Ali that he brought into the Egyptian system would yield the best system. Hmm. I mean, we're uh, free markets, free people. Let's see if we can teach our people to read good. Or, like, at all, maybe. Yeah, decimetric radars. Yeah, Eid. Well, that'll be done in November.
Love and Revenge opens today. The film Love and Revenge has recently been released to glowing reviews. The musical drama, the plot of the movie, goes thusly. So here, a famous singer decides to retire from singing in order to get married to her lover, Wahid. But unfortunately, he gets killed one night before his wedding. So here then discovers that composer Gamal Hamdi is the prime suspect of Wahid's death. Uh... Uh, case and instead of taking legal action due to the lack of sufficient evidence, she decides to fake loving him in order to reach the truth. Part of the reason for its success is due to the unexpected death of the main actress and singer uh, Asma Shan, who was only 26 when she died in a car crash. Uh, Mr. Studios produced the film as user death to draw more, aud- more audiences. Great movie. It's a tragic about the actress. Why does this take two, take so long? I guess that's just how long that tech takes. I, you know, I don't I don't remember recall this being such an expensive research, but Education reforms. As part of the reforms that Farouk is bringing about to Egypt, the topic of education has been brought up. The issue is what should be taught within the schools. The conflict is between the fairness who believe that Egypt's identity is Mediterranean and looks to the pre-Islamic era, and the Islamists who believe that Egypt's identity is second or is, is rooted in Islam and looks to the age of Fatimids, Abubids, and even Mamluks for identity. Will be Pharaoh. Literacy program. So that ship's almost done. We're building some more, more of these guys. All right, so what we got here? We got this. Uh, most of our ships are the uh, Descubrierta class. Uh, well Creek one we'll call this so we just have anti-submarine warfare or torpedoes we can put in here or an anti-air All right, so we got that and we have what are these Smith class and River S class. These only have level one engine. Smith class, also only level one. You know what? It's probably worth it to refit though.
some of the Saudis, their expeditionaries back. This we have 13 supply. Let's see if we can uh See if we can help kick these guys off their last port. Might be able to do it now. It's our mech account, like. Still not that much. Alright, we can. I got, we had a decision here. Sultan Farouk, though still a teenager, has a grand vision of modern Egypt. This vision sees an Egypt that merges the greatness inherent in herself with the best parts of the Western way of governing. To that extent, he's reading the considerable authority given to the Sultan to embark on a program of nation building, extending and codifying the power of the Egyptian state previously untouched aspects of life. Literacy program. As part of the reforms that Farouk is bringing about to Egypt, the topic of literacy has been brought up. The vast majority of Egypt's population is illiterate to nearly an 80% illiteracy rate. Principally within the rural areas... Okay, timed out. That's fine. So I guess we don't get to read that one. Religious reforms... Oh, looks like we don't even need to do anything. And then for whatever re- okay, there's some Americans up here. This is a bit crazy with the supply, isn't it? Minister of Knowledge appointment with the education reform is now in full swing. A question as to whom shall be Minister of Education has been brought up. There are two main candidates, one for Onus and one Islamist. Hussein is a fairness candidate. Or Taha Hussein is a fairness candidate and foremost writer of the fairness literature as well as professor of history at Cairo University. The Islamist candidate is Sayyid Qutub. Young Professor Al Azhar, who has written quite a lot about Islamic philosophy, should we choose? We'll go with the Fairnists. It says there's a river there. We have red fuel. Red fuel can't fight. Oh. So hopefully we'll be able to get a peace deal once these guys are, uh, are kicked out of Africa. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Religious reforms. Part of the reforms that Farouk is bringing about to Egypt, the nature of religion has been brought up. Uh, liberals want for us to focus more on secularism, while conservatives believe that Islam should be made the state religion with protections for minority faiths such as Judaism and Christianity. It will be secular. Tax reforms.
Well, looks like, uh... There you go. So there's no more Untaught now for Galaxy. Like the Rex Pack kicked him out. So... There you go. Build ourselves some infrastructure, I guess. And not a whole lot of great land left. Guys, merge up over there. We've almost got a modern tank. Rates from in Brazil. All right, docking rights to Brazil. Excellent. Need a bit more steel. So those, uh, those light ships should refit pretty fast. Unfortunately, we didn't have radar at the time, but we want to get the process going anyways. I guess we'll do without for now. They've made a landing over there. And I forgot to flip my my company over. It's like that was a mistake, wasn't it? Get ourselves our next uh, gun upgrade. Uh, tax reforms as part of the reforms that Fruk is bringing about to Egypt. The topic of tax reforms has been brought up. There are a few options. We can listen to the people and institute a land tax, which will, fly, which will fall primarily on the rich landowners. We can listen to our Western advisors who advise us to copy the progressive tax system or the European powers, or we can listen to the nobles and institute a flat tax. The free of the markets, free of the people. Let's see. Let's see if we get to be Pharaoh now. They should unlock our uh, pyramid spaceships. So I guess after that we'll have to go to war with uh, the princely fed once we annex all this land here. So we have Egyptian India. I mean I didn't know that India was rightful Egyptian clay, but you know this learn something new every day, I guess. So we we'll probably need logistics. Wow, now we need a lot of chromium. Uh, and that's easy to get though, so. Unlike steel, which continues to vex us.
Alright, so Japan got peace deal. Okay, we got... There's peace deal over here for something, but I guess, uh... That's just stuff over there. Uh, is Burma on the Entente team? No, they're on the Copro Sphere team. I wonder what's up with that. The reform is finally done, and with the reforms done, Egypt now moves into a new era, a modern era. The reforms may not have solved all of Egypt's problems, but they've helped push her to a brighter future. Egypt shall be brought to the modern age. So what do we get here? We got the constitutional monarchy. One of those bastard Sudanese declared independence. The Sudanese leader Abd al Rahman al Mahdi has rallied his supporters in Khartoum and declared that Sudan will never submit to anyone but God, declaring himself his intent to break Sudan away from Egypt. Wow, we can we can play as Sudan. We can play as Sudan, which is I think maybe uh no, we'll just uh we'll defend Egypt. Fucking modest scum. Fuck. South Sudanese tribes refuse to join the revolt. In the far south Sudan, many of the tribes there are non-Muslims, being either pagan, animists, or Christians. They have decided not to answer the call of Abd al-Rahman al-Mahdi, and instead declared they shall fight against him and pledge their loyalty to the Sultan. Uh, together we should put down the traitors. That's cool, I guess. I mean, I, I doubt that this will be very... I have 40 with tank divisions, so... I don't imagine the uh, the Mahdi can, like, pull tanks out of nowhere, can he? That would be a trick. You know, after all the infrastructure we built for them, they decided to, uh, decide to do us like that, huh? I think the Mahdi's maybe a little bit ungrateful. Now, playing as Sudan here seems like that might be, a might be an interesting challenge. Of course, uh, against an Egypt that has actual tank divisions, it's going to be, uh, pretty rough to be with your, uh, tribal militias. It's like, I guess this was this guy's best attempt. Like, we even call it Ethiopia. It's like, like, I'm not sure, like, what the point of that event is if it fires this early. Maybe it's tied to, like, the reform event chain. And it's supposed to, like, make sense like that. Great, so now, now we, uh, we beat Sudan. The reforms of the realm have brought about the liberal dreams that were born during the 1925 revolution. The reforms have transformed Egypt into a liberal constitutional monarchy with the Sultan having a ceremonial role. 
Long live the Sultan, long live Egypt. Egyptian victory. Today we have defeated the Mahdist for a second time. Victory is now ours, because now we no longer fault against us anymore in the future. Long live Egypt. Okay, I guess we did that. Handling the rebels with our victory over the Sudanese rebellion, the question is how shall we handle them? Some within the Sultan's court are advocating for generosity, while others are advocating for being hard to teach them a lesson as to what happens when you rebel against Egypt. Yeah, I don't know, we'll be merciful. I mean, the political power at this point is, uh, is redundant. Well, it looks like USA and the Entente are trying to do, like, Entente naval invasions, I guess. That's uh, usually what they like to do. And these guys should be done pretty quick. I guess we'll just like troll with our navy for a bit. Like, I'm I'm kind of annoyed that there's no peace deal after the Entente's been like kicked out of Africa. Like, what what do they expect you to do with Egypt? Naval invade Canada? I think like most of the wars, like the uh, unification war and stuff like that, tend to uh, tend to have a peace out once you take all the ports or something like that. Or South Africa has that same thing. So it's like a bit weird that Egypt doesn't. It's also annoying that you can't invite people into the Cairo pack. We can't get Molly or Niger. We can afford that. If the uh, Reichspack can get a beachhead, we can help out with our tanks. What's the uh, navy like over here? Got lots of enemy ships. It's like an all versus on tonic game now, huh? Red Sea trade. So India's going down. And yeah, French Republic. I guess that's like this area that we're offering that we're I wonder if I can like give control what state is this? Constantine? I think I'm stuck with it, unfortunately. There's a A lot of factories there, though. 
And look how many factories we're, like, getting from occupation. Like, our, our actual, like, economy is, like, a bit shit. There's only two more left here. Interesting that they get a torpedo tube on the your capital ship. Of course, the revived armor cruiser is kind of a weird haul. Torpedo launcher. I will probably just stay on mech too. I mean, what's the armor 15? This gives us armor armor 20. Yeah, no, let's let's go with it. Uh, night vision, sure. Get some dockyards. some uh, convoy reading I think we'll go uh, we'll go and refit everyone again once we have like our, our final radar upgrades I guess I don't know I mean it's difficult to prioritize stuff like we are running into steel problems Might be able to improve relations with Russia to get more steel with them too. Like our navy is probably our most important branch right now, so like let's uh, make sure they, they get this. We'll put the steel into our, our navy. And also trying to get modern tanks out and the uh, the mechanized. We've already got enough infantry equipment. See if we can get anything over there.
Alright, so I guess we have to slam that event apparently multiple times. Plus 5% to go. Oh. Oh dear. Uh, so we ran into an American fleet that was much better than their own fleet apparently. And we lost 11, 11 of our Well Creek destroyers. Yikes. Oh dear. Well, there goes our navy. It was, it was fun while it lasted. Uh, repair now. <laughs> yeah. Deep oceans. Oh, that was probably a bad place for us to fight, too. That's deep ocean style. Lost all of our capitals. Like, that was all pointless, wasn't it? I was a bit afraid of that. I was hoping, like, our smaller ships might have been fast enough to hit the level 2 engine, but no, it was, it, it, it was not. It was not to be. Maybe we should have went for the modern submarines. Yeah, maybe modern submarines would have been better strat there. Germans will I'll have to deal with that, so... So Bra Brazil has a border with them over here. These guys, Ecuador is a puppet, okay. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to actually do anything from this position. We'll just be, uh, we'll just be sitting here waiting around for like however long it takes for, uh, f you know, for the AI to start getting some landings on, on mainland Canada and then we can help out. Let's go for submarines. Yeah, that was dumb to send a fleet out there. Like, I mean, it, was, it should have been—it would have been obvious. Like, the armored cruisers are not good capital ships. Uh, it should have been obvious that we get slapped around. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, at least we got our our, uh, our good ship survived, though. The uh, our improved cruisers there. The Coney class. I guess that's fitting for an African navy, isn't it?
Yeah, see, Anton has been really suggested this over here. And it looks like we're not going to be allowed to get naval supremacy anytime soon. You get like maybe one tank unit in through there. Look at all the Entente stuff they have. That you know, it's just not gonna. That's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Reforms. Should maybe transitioned into doing navy sooner, but I was a bit, you know. Uh, the torpedoes. So you still need the uh, transports as well. centimetric radar down here so that'll be nice so we can refit our navy to have radars do we get any sub research bonuses we got light cruisers down here submarine efforts gives us two research bonuses for destroyers okay <laughs> that's a uh, okay Let's screenshot that the hell is that the hell is that People still can't even read. Oh, we got some modern light ship hulls out. Forty two point three knots on these guys. Thirty four point two knots on these guys. Once we get like a decent radar on there, we probably get a might be fast enough to like zip in and zip out. We have concealment as well. Start getting some convoys. Uh Start getting some intel. Trying to infiltrate their navy. I don't need that. Of course, you're not exactly going to be starving America off of resources, are we? That's not going to happen. Oh, 
109 days for advanced radar. So we are a bit behind under tech here. Unfortunately, I can't make the game go any faster. It's like we're kind of stuck. <laughs> I guess the ship's just got beat up a lot. It's got veteran status. It's got no kills. Oh. oh, there we go. Got some convoys. That's pretty baller. Of course, now we have uh, much better spotting. Yeah. Damn, catching some more convoys out. Boom. Oh, flee! Run away! Run away! Run away! Oh, dang. Well, that was fun while it lasted, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, well. Oh, well. What we get here? It looks like we got quite a few of these uh, destroyers from the... Uh, Quite a few destroyers. That's nice. Oh, we got that. Improves. We get the uh, with the improved sub hall. Uh, Costa Rica, I guess, is doing Costa Rica things. There's also some firefighting drills. So there is a history on these things. The yeah, Destructor. I guess we've been uh, taking them out pretty handily. That's not actually a good spot for us to raid. Fjords and Archipelago. This this would be like that would be a much better spot for us actually. We just got a few more destroyer friends, so that's nice. Uh, Fleet Protector and Ironside. More than 50% screening vessels and fleets. We learned that. That's good. We also we do have a Sea Wolf. But the Sea Wolf is, of course, a submarine, even though we're raiding. Not gonna help us out. Submarine visibility, that's, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, I think we'd probably stay on the Red Sea. Naval Department. We will infiltrate their Navy. Yeah, it's like capital ship stuff down that way. It's really just the first two that we needed. Uh, you guys. Almost done repairing. 
Yeah, like that was a deep ocean tile. I, I flagged that beforehand. You know, my dumbass still, still decided to raid. Oh, we'll, we'll let them, we'll let them repair. I want to send their half dead fleet here. Got the Coney. The ship even have a name? You can name it. Defend the coasts. Yeah, I wish I wish I, I just wish I could get some more steel. Infiltrate their navy. Yes. 72.5%. Yeah, that one ship got mangled pretty badly. Yeah, so this is also deep ocean. It's like we should be, we should be raiding in the Caribbean. And this is going to give us... Uh, Negative 20% visibility, which is, you know, pretty good, and it's going to hurt their capital ships. As opposed to, like, this plane over here, like, deep oceans are pretty shitty for escort. It's like you can see we're, we're getting, getting pretty rough, uh, probably pretty rough negatives. They're great for subs, though. See those guys for rainy day, I guess. Done here, and we can then we'll, we'll send these guys in the Caribbean and see if we can uh, see if we can get some more. Or you know what? Let's uh, what's a radar like? We're not researching radar. Oops, 99 days for that. See if we can get some bread in the, uh, the Caribbean here. All right, there we go. Like our destroyers and cruisers are probably better than their destroyers. And are we able to get out? We killed a few destroyers. Oh, that's a light cruiser over there. But it says we're winning this fight. Maybe our, our ships might be of better quality. Oh, not about that though. But I think we're fast enough that we get out. Get out. We sunk a convoy, maybe a couple convoys. There is that like pretty annoying bug where like it doesn't tell you how many convoys you actually sunk. I 
We get two bonuses on cruisers. Like that that gets us to modern, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. That's nice. Cruiser hull. I'm not allowed to put. I thought you could put a uh, cruiser battery on these things. We don't have capital gunnery, of course. That's right. Literacy again. That's nice that we use their dockyards to repair, though. That's pretty cool. Probably should wait until we have, like, if we're going to research cruisers anyways, probably just want a better engine. And we probably want some more ammunition upgrade. We can't get this until we have the radar, right? The advanced centrometric radar, which we're almost done having. So that'll be neat. Maybe have built some dockyards. Oh, we're getting so much of our industry is from like occupation. It's so, like hopefully we're able to actually get something in the peace deal. Under 32 days, infiltrate their navy. Well, this is going to be like a pretty dull game for a while, but I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe we can come from behind with the underdog Navy. It should be pretty funny to see. So maybe maybe we'll try it for a bit. Like These guys got to veteran status real fast, so didn't they? Mainly just, uh, mainly just killing escort destroyers. Like that's the thing about like surface fleet raiding is like uh, you if you want to raid with a surface fleet, you'll be able to like just kill their escorts even if they're escorted a lot of the time. For the advanced submarine hall.
Yeah, so build that one first. Alright, light cruisers. Bonus for destroyer models is a bit pointless, isn't it? I'll go on naval production. Are we on repairs? Lama, this one's torpedo tubes disabled. Not my torpedo tubes. Well, I don't know. It's fun watching the naval battle results, I guess. No accessible regions. Why aren't? Why isn't this accessible for us? Where? Where? Are, where is this fleet, anyways? Did they lose that port? They lost the port. Yeah, unfortunately, like I said, this is like a pretty shitty spot for us to try and raid with escorts. Oh, well, there's a carrier there. Uh, we'll go repair then. Alright, we got advanced radar. I'm gonna get a little bit of steel that way. Yeah, torpedo. Radar. So Mark Three is one we want to convert, or no? Mark Three is a good one, and Mark Two is the one we'd want to convert our existing ones to. So we will go in and we will repair, refit, and we'll get ourselves some sick radar. Yeah, you know, it's only you know it's only 13 days. That's fine. We'll do that. Don't want to lose a lose the cruiser though. And we actually have we'll have refits to do, won't we? I'm pretty sure we just ordered these guys to refit.
improved ammo. Is there a scent to top button? I don't think so. Collapse that, I guess. So, I refit our existing ships first. Fall of Rio de Janeiro. Hmm. That's a piss off. Brazil dies, we won't have any naval bases in the area. Unless we have like a, I don't know, level 1 torpedo tubes on these guys though, unfortunately. I mean, it's good enough. I mean, the torpedoes are only there once you kill the screens. But our light attack is a bit light. Ah, uh, get it. Light attack, light. I should have, yeah, I should have handled my initial navy a bit better. It was a bit silly to send them out there like that, and like I still need them for like convoy escort and stuff too. So, uh, do we want to send some guys over here to uh? Maybe. I, mean, I don't think we'll be at war with the princely fed until like after that war is done. So like let's uh, I'll send some guys over I guess and hope we don't get torpedoed. Basket or convoys, anyways. And we have a decent death charge on this, too, don't we? You know, level three. Like, we do run into submarines, like, hopefully we'll be able to actually kill them. And we're just waiting on our, uh, adding radar onto our improved cruiser hulls. Fifteen days. 
I'm sure America has like a big ass navy at this point. 1946. Why don't we get a peace deal with the Entente? Come on. You know, come on. This is just. This is a bit silly. Go with the excavation tech. Modern sub. Alright, so we got there unmolested, so that's nice. Supply shit. Fuck. We've got a logistics company. Maybe that will help. ammo modern naval guns I don't know I mean I guess that'd be cool to get I suppose so I get the critical hits buff though So much deal. We should be able to win this fight. Unless we run out of fuel. Of course we do. Let's uh, send these guys out for some convoy raiding here. Local naval base is the limit. Alright, we just gotta get there and there's a naval base here we can sit on. Hopefully that'll solve our supply issue. Get there, get there, get there. 
And it looks like the uh, Brazilians cleaned up Rio for themselves, so that's nice. Oh, we got uh, we got destroyer wiped again. Fuck. Wow. Dang. Like RIP our Navy. <laughs> we got one lone ship left. Uh, I thought we might be fast enough to get away with it, but we were not. Yeah, we were not. General election, so we will vote for the uh, WAF party again. Look at that, no one has any supplies. That's a neat light attack nine anti air two point five. I guess we can get that. So maybe we go with the modern subs then. Literature competition. Recently in Alexandria, there's been a literature competition that has attracted the national attention due to the fact that the two top choices are noted writers associated with feminism and Islamist cultural movement. Uh, who shall win the competition will, gal will galvanize the movement. Whom shall be selected as the winner? We'll go with the Feronists. They are 88 party percent popularity. Alright, he's got a, got a destroyer now. Another destroyer. So modern naval guns will get us like a medium battery too, right? So we might want to make like a cap. If we're going to be operating in the deep seas, we might want to make our ships like a, a capital variant. Like I think the uh, is this carrier cruiser. That's not awful there. Of course, like the regular cruiser, I don't think suffers debuffs in oceans. So that's, that might be like, like the capital cruiser might be a, just like a good ship to build. I can switch over to the, like this is a pretty good manufacturer too. Get extra armor and stuff like that in a cruiser. After a modern sub is done, we'll start researching like a cruiser hull. Of course, those are real expensive. Oh, we got an imp we got an improved cruiser hull. Three point five knots on those guys. All right, we'll improve literacy again. It looks like uh, Italy did a little naval invasion there. Jeez, look at that. Look at that stack of divisions.
God, maybe we should uh, go for amphibious tractors as well too. I mean, that'll be a nice one to grab as well. Probably want more cruisers. Oh, we're actually operating. I thought we were holding still. So, wow, we're, we're just, we're just reeking, reeking in that XP, aren't we? Well, uh, we'll raid in the Caribbean. That's like I said, that's better terrain for us there. That's a nice engagement we got there. I'm starting to put a dent in some screens now. Of course, our, our one ship over there, like the... Uh, Not this one, the other one over here. This, kid, this cruiser's been around for a while. Look, look at all that. Like, this guy over here is going to have a pretty uh, pretty nasty ship with that 36 light attack. Look at the kills in that already. That's a brand new ship. The modern sub hull. It's going to be advanced cruiser hull. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, Dios mio. There goes our navy. We got wiped. We got clean wiped. Clean wiped. Showed up with the carrier. We got uh, we got shrecked. <laughs> well, I mean, it was good while it lasted. What do you get here? Level 4, the auto-loading cannon. That's the... Yeah, okay. So this torpedo attack. I even got the modern naval guns. I wonder if mines would be like worthwhile to get. We don't need those, we got modern naval guns anyways. All or nothing a cruiser arms armor scheme. No, I think it's okay. Let's get ourselves maybe we should get the Amtraks. If we do have to do naval invasions, the Amtraks would be good to have. So this one gives you less heavy attack, more piercing. That's it. Uh, no, I'm not gonna. We won't do that for now. I also don't need sonar on. Like, what am I do? What am I thinking? I don't need sonar on this ship. I don't, have, I don't even have a depth charge. Be a fire control module.
So maybe I'll also get us some subs too. Alright, got a destroyer again. No point in tracing those guys. Let's get them back into this Dan, I guess. Uh, still no peace deal, so we are. Uh, I guess you just don't get a white pieces, Egypt. You get a war with the French, and then you're just stuck at war. So now we're starting with 45% in Canada. Uh, we have 80% Navy intel on them. They've got like this entire area covered then. Look at that. Look at that fleet size. Brutal. Oh, the Canadians. How are these guys doing? Also a uh, pretty pretty thick fleet. Uh, so we do have naval superiority here, but not over in Venezuela. Let's get ourselves like a red skull. Could be we're gonna be raiders, I guess. Or that that would be for a submarine, so. It's also a white skull. I mean, maybe we should just use it. Well, I mean, we probably we don't have a whole lot of cruisers, anyways. Uh, we'll go back with uh, this guy over here. Combined operations rating. It's escort cruiser and cruiser surface rating detection. Nice. And we need so much steel. So, so much steel. And let's just build one of these, and then let's go. Uh, let's go more around the cruisers, I guess. Uh, advanced cruiser hull. I'll wait till we get the next hull. I can have uh, the fastest engine. I'll try. Uh, I'll try going some capital cruisers as raiders. To have our first destroyer, or our first uh, first modern sub. Oh, it's so boring. Uh, 
should have started building navy earlier. Uh, we do have a sea wolf though. Um, penetration chance would be a uh, be pretty interesting. Let's get the load. Try the loading drill master. Like usually, I go for the other one. But let's try the loading drill master this time. I got that. Get the uh, get those things. Another improved cruiser hull. Get more dog. We can build a dockyard over there. So I guess. I guess we'll do that. I only have thirty eight percent Canada. Hmm. Not getting a whole lot. deep oceans again. I don't know. Let's actually let's go have you go convoy raiding over here. And we know they're uh we know they're doing some uh some ops there, so doing some naval invasions, see if we can catch them. Who owns this anyway? This is Portugal. They're in the Entente now, so that's actually probably uh, probably not the case. We could maybe catch some convoys trying to supply them. Uh, engine captured. Fuck. I guess we'll try it. Of the steel from England. Nice, I get two modern submarine hulls. And deep ocean should be a pretty nice, uh, always engage. Sinking some destroyers. All right, we can uh, start on that capital cruiser now. So we'll go for go for the advanced tall. We probably don't need the modern one, and we'll get the uh, get the uh, big boy battery. 
and the sick engine But you want patrol here. You should be able to see these guys as convoy routes, right? Guess not. I guess we are our network strength is going down because we had to move operatives. You need like actually we need improved amphibious tractor. Look at that. Split like that, we should be fine. And that's about this. This for this video. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just end this campaign here. I don't think we'll be able to do much of anything, but I'll you know I'll think about it. Levy Freeman signing out.